हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर अगेन हियर फॉर कंप्लीटिंग आर चैप्टर वन ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस विच वी वर डूइंग इन द लास्ट लेक्चर स्टेटिस्टिक्स इज बेसिस ऑफ वेरियस सब्जेक्ट्स एंड साइंसेस लाइक स्टेटिस्टिक्स हैज क्लोज रिलेशनशिप विद मैथमेटिक्स सो क्लोज रिलेशनशिप that sometimes statistics is called as branch of applied mathematics with specialization in data statistics is also concerned with accounting because statistical methods are used in computation of cost and profit and in analysis of various financial results statistics is also helpful in research and development today there is hardly any research work which is done without using statistical data and statistical methods statistics is equally important in chemistry physics biology sociology psychology education etc these statistical methods help to analyze the growth of human body under different diets and environmental conditions likewise the response of body to a dose of medicine can also be statistically tested statistics with economics there is very close relationship between these two subjects generally in the study of almost each economic problem whether consumption production distribution exchange or finance statistical methods are required In fact the statistical methods are very important tools in the study room of an economist and he uses these methods just as a doctor uses stethoscope to diagnose the disease of a patient statistics is used at various places like formulation of economic laws requires the use of statistics concludingly these days there is no area where statistics are not used the use of statistics has so widened today that it affects every aspect of human activities a separate department namely econometrics is developing in economics because of the frequent use of statistics in economics ultimately we can say that one day will come when statistical thinking will be as necessary as ability to read and write for effective citizenship after importance of statistics we will do some limitations of statistics no doubt statistics is a useful science it works everywhere it is a boon at place where numbers are involved but remember statistics is not a magic which solve the problems it is very important for using statistics that data should be properly collected and critically interpreted otherwise it may draw wrong conclusions for gaining maximum benefit from statistics it is necessary that we should keep in mind the limitations around which statistics work some shortcomings of statistics are as follows number 1 statistics studies only numerical fact we can study only those effects here which are in quantitative terms the aspects which are qualitative in nature cannot be studied here like honesty intelligence blindness love etc its second limitation is that it shows only average position of the given fact the fact which relates to a group it does not give information of each and every individual of the universe it gives average of all so it should be kept in mind that some individuals result may be far better or far worse than the average let us see a beautiful example suppose if the statistical investigation shows that the average income of an indian individual is rupees 1500 per month this fact is true only in average form because there may be some people in india who have salary only rupees 600 per month 
On the other hand, there may also be some persons who have a salary more than or around rupees 5000 per month. But statistical investigation says that income of majority of Indians is around rupees 1500 per month. So, it can be said that one more limitation of statistics is that it cannot be used for individual measurements or we can say statistics is applicable on totality and not in isolation. Its third problem is that the results obtained from statistics are not perfectly correct because as we know statistics is based on estimated data. It is based on sample. It may not cover each and every unit of the universe. So, result obtained by statistics is only an approximation and not perfectly true. Its fourth problem is that it only discloses the problem. It does not provide solution to the problem. As in our above example, we said that average income of an Indian is rupees 1500 per month. We know it is very low as compared to per person income of developed countries. Statistics gives only information that per person income is low. It shows that our economy is poor, but statistics does not give any solution to solve this problem. Fifth most important limitation of statistics is that it can be used only by expert as it is a technical subject. So, it cannot be used by a common man. We can rightly say that statistics is a most dangerous tool in the hands of a person who is not an expert in the field of statistics. Its next limitation is that conclusions in statistics can be drawn only on the basis of that data which is homogeneous and uniform. For example, if we have to obtain average marks of students, then all students should be of same stream or same class. Like all must be of 11th class, all must be of commerce or science or art. Otherwise, the conclusion drawn will be wrong. Its next limitation is that statistical results are to be studied in context. If statistical results are studied and interpreted without references, they may provide wrong picture of the problem. The last limitation of statistics is that it may lead to wrong conclusion in the absence of complete details. For example, suppose there are two businessmen X and Y. Both have average profit of rupees 20 lakh during 3 years. It shows that they are equally efficient as per their same average profit. But if we go into the detail, the position may be entirely different because maybe the profits of X are rising continuously with 3 years. Suppose in first year, the profits of X were 15 lakh, in second year, they were 20 lakh and in third year, they were 25 lakh. If we take average of 15, 20 and 25, it will arrive at 20 lakh. In the same way, Suppose the profits of Mr. Y are declining during the 3 years, in first year 25 lakh, in second year 20 lakh, in third year 15 lakh, their average is also 20 lakh. Average shows that they are equally efficient, but the real position is entirely different. The profits of X are rising and the profits of Y are declining. So, it was the limitation of statistics. From the above discussed limitations of statistics, we cannot say that subject of statistics is useless. Rather, we should understand that every science is based on certain assumptions. This is also with the case of statistics. Limitations does not reduce the importance of the subject, but teaches us that precautions should be taken while dealing with statistical analysis and interpretations. Now, the last topic of the chapter, distrust of statistics. Distrust means 
not believing in statistics. It means lack of confidence in the subject. Some people believe that sometimes statistical results give wrong information regarding some problem. This feeling of their distrust is often shown in the following comments like, some people say there are three kinds of lies, lies, damned lies and statistics. It means statistics is a lie. Second opinion is statistics can prove anything. Anything means which is wrong also can be proved correct in statistics. Thirdly, there are black lies white lies and statistics is a rainbow of lies. We know that rainbow is a symbol of seven colors. Another statement about the statistics is that statisticians can blow the wind in whichever direction they like. Crux of all these four statements is that in statistics we can prove anything whether it is right or wrong. All the above statements reflect the distrust of statistics. Now we should go into the causes of this distrust. We should know why people do not believe in statistics. The main reason is contradictory data. If different data are available in different publications or at different places, then distrust is natural. Second reason behind it is contradiction between facts and figures. If there is contradiction between data and actual position, the faith in data may be reduced. For example, if it is being felt in general that prices are increasing, but government shows with the help of data that price level is going down, then there will be definitely be distrust upon data. Third reason is complicated nature of statistics. Statistics is a complicated science. It cannot be used by a common person. But sometimes without proper knowledge of statistical techniques, it is used by inexperts. And the statistical interpretations drawn by them are contrary to the real situation. And it becomes a reason of distrust of statistics. But in fact, we should see that it is misuse of statistics by inexpert. This is not a limitation in statistics. Fourth reason for distrust is ignorance of limitations of statistics. As we have already discussed certain limitations of statistics, if these limitations are not kept in mind, confusing results may be arrived at leading in distrust of statistics. For example, look up beautiful example. If data is used in individual instead of aggregate, for example, average life expectancy in India is 52 years. And on this basis, it is told to the person of 50 years that he will die after 2 years, but it does not happen. Then the data are proved wrong. Actually, the fact is that 52 years is the average age and not the age of every person. Using partial truth to the whole area. For example, on the basis of increasing export, it can be concluded that the economy's economic growth is very fast. However, if in reality the growth rate is negative, it may lead to distrust of data relating to export. The most important reason for distrust of statistics is the misuse by vested persons. They do not conclude on the basis of data, but they take the help of data to support their preconceived ideas and results. Such use of data shows partial and superficial result leading to distrust of statistics. Using statistics without its reference is also a reason for distrust. It is always advisable that data should be used with proper references. If related references are ignored while using the data, naturally the result will not be trustworthy, it will not be acceptable and it will develop the sense of distrust. 
considering the importance of references for statistical use it is stated that statistics should not be used as a blind man who uses a lamp post for support instead for illumination it is evident from the analysis of reasons of distrust that the fault does not lie with the science of statistics but with the persons using it like if a child cuts his finger by sharp blade or a lunatic person hits his head with wall the fault does not lie with the blade or the wall it lies with the person who uses it this is the same case with statistics it can be said that the tools of statistics are dangerous in the hands of inexpert just as a wrong brush by an artist can spoil the whole picture so also a small mistake of a statistician can lead the conclusions wrong and confusing so it can be concluded ultimately that if statistics is used by experts if it is used without biased opinion if limitations of statistics are kept in mind while using it then the results drawn will be correct and there will be no question of distrust students we have completed this interesting chapter now we should summarize the whole chapter in the form of headings what we have done we started with the meaning and need of economics various definitions of economics nature of economics meaning and definition of statistics both in plural and singular sense characteristics and functions of statistics importance of statistics limitations and lastly distrust and causes of distrust in statistics so our chapter is completed now it all was for today thank you